Hey guys, this is Brandy and welcome back to Astro Tarot. Sorry I've been gone for so long. My allergies really did a number on me. I'm still a little bit um, sick. Um, so if my voice sounds really eh and my nose is really stuffy, then don't mind me. So today we are going to do a reading, which is who will I go on a date with next. So we're going to do like what you'll think of them, what they'll think of you, how the date go. And I even chose like a song to like set the mood for each sort of like dating atmosphere. Um, <coughs> if you're already in a relationship, I'm not sure how much you'll relate to it, but I, cause I am, I pulled the cards of having like singles in mind. So but, I mean, feel free to choose it anyway. It's all for fun and entertainment and etc. So let's just get started. We have the Paris, I think it's like a neck piece for pal number one. We have the heart black necklace for part of pal number two. We have the heart charm bracelet for pal number three. We have the rose earring for pal number four. We have a silver heart uh, earring for pile number five and we have a heart ring for pile number six so sit with those energies and we can get started all right so if you chose the Paris neck sort of piece necklace piece let's get started put that over there <laughs> sorry if this camera stuff's in the way ah let's fix that okay so Let's see what order I chose this. This is the song. We'll get to that in a minute. And I did this with this intention. Okay, this is who you'll go on a date with next. We got the Six of Cups. Interesting. And this is what you'll think of them. And this is what they'll think of you. And this is how the date will go. Okay, so first of all, we got the Six of Cups. Now, normally with the Six of Cups, Six of Cups is about reminiscing, taking a trip down memory lane, like familiar uh, people from your past. It could also represent past lives in general. So it looks like you're going to go on a date with someone you feel familiar with, someone you had a connection with within a past life, or it's going to be someone who, oh, how do I put that? who either is very like childlike, like they have like this innocent naivety to them. If I said that right, I don't know, I'm struggling with that word. <laughs> um, but they just have like a, a very innocent outlook on life. They want to see like the best in people. But like I said, this could also be someone you've previously been with, someone you know currently. Like it's just not, it's not like a new sort of energy. Um, if it is someone new entering your life, then like I said, it's someone who's just like very sweet, innocent, natured sort of person. They're not a person who's jaded or, or suspicious. Like this person is very open. Um, they have their guard down. Um, they're willing to learn and they're just very sweet and uh, kind nature and they kind of see everything through like rose colored glasses and stuff like that. You know how when you're a kid and you're, you're just very trusting, more trusting and open as a child as opposed to adult where you have more experience and you learn from things. But this person would, would not be that way. So what you'll think of them is, I mean, it kind of fits in with that Six of Cup energy where you have a page of pinnacles. So they're going to come off like that way. They're going to come off very young and um, very sweet and giving um, because we are on the cards with the page of pinnacles. We have this person kind of giving a coin to this, I don't even know, elf, gnome, um, sort of smaller person. They're sharing. So this person's like... I don't know if you're male or female, but this person will at least offer to pay for the date, um, or maybe they'll want to go Dutch, but this person, uh, they, they're not going to conform to sort of the traditional, completely conform to the traditional dating rules. I mean, it is a pinnacle, so there'll be some aspect of that, but they're, they'll at least be willing to sort of uh, go Dutch with you and split things down the middle. Uh, they'll probably... 
want to try something a little different just because they're the, the Page of Pentacles and Pages of Pentacles is a, a new energy, a new sort of vibe. So if they go to a restaurant, it'll be like a, a new opening of a restaurant or something that's like, don't you know how they have like a mixture of different foods? Like uh, when you have like Korean food versus tacos and like, like it's like a blending, a fusion sort of thing. So it's like the same sort of nature. Like people go to a restaurant some day, they go to the movies. These are like typical date ideas. But since it's the page of pinnacles, they're like, okay, let's take this typical date idea and let's do like a fusion restaurant. Or let's try, um, I know there's like this restaurant in New York where you could like eat in the dark. Like so there's like a spin on it in a way. But it's, it's for the most part in line with what you would typically expect. So that is what you'll think of them. You'll think like, okay, so... Uh, they're willing to try new things, but they're also not too crazy, not too out there. So, and they're going to come off very, this is what you'll think of them. So they're going to come off very young in that way. And it's like, um, they may not know too much. They may not see them as someone who's very experienced with dating. And similar to that, they're going to think the page is source of you. So I don't know if what's going on here. We got like a, so much like young energy cards like I don't know if you're like teenager late early 20s or if you guys are just stepping out of your shell and it's been a while but both of you see each other as super young people ready to explore the world and so they'll think you're going to be very chatty so you're going to be the person who's going to be leading the conversation just because we have the page of swords here and the page of pentacles is more of someone who's going to be a little bit more reserved and more observant because we have that sort of uh, earth sign energy which is like Virgo, Taurus, and um, oh my gosh, what's the other earth sign? Capricorn. And <laughs> those signs tend to do a little bit more observing and planning first just because that's a, the earth sign nature before they act. So they're going to be a little bit more observant of you. And um, so they'll be thinking that you're just a very spunky, spontaneous person, like you both are probably similar in age or at least perspective and thought and um, things that you know. And they're going to see you as someone who likes to joke around and someone who wants to, I guess, share ideas, information. Like, you may talk about... Um, some sort of superficial things, conversations. Like, I literally just got this card, like, um, two days ago, and it was just kind of represent how a conversation would go with someone. So, it was like keeping things sort of light and a little bit flirty and, it's like, not too deep. Like, I'm not, we're not, you're not, like, the conversations aren't going to be super, super deep. This is just like a kind of get to know, casual, hey, what do you do, like, um, uh, what do you think of, I don't know, Ky Kylie Jenner's lip gloss, I don't know, maybe probably not that topic, but like something like superficial and stuff, we're not going to go into like, oh my god, what are your fear? What are your fears? And um, what are your like? What's your five-year plan? Who like who hurt you growing up? Like I don't know. We're not going to go into all that stuff. You guys are going to keep things light in terms of conversation. And the fact that we have the the two uh, pinnacles here, um, representing of how the date will go, it kind of falls into place with um, what I was saying before because the two of pinnacles. It can also, it can be about juggling, which is normally what I read it as, but for the most part in this situation, it's kind of just like going with the flow, keeping things light, casual, like bouncing off of each other. Um, and I think this person, the person you're with, because these both are pinnacles here, they're going to be the one that's kind of like pushing it in that direction towards keeping things light. I mean, I don't think you'll have an issue with going, uh deeper if you want to but they're they're they for the most part they're like let's just keep things fun let's keep things casual for now like let's not um do anything you know super traumatic not, i mean not super traumatic let's not go into anything like super um you know deep and we don't we don't want to keep things like oh i mean how has your grandparents death affected you like we don't want to we don't want to go on that level so they're they're definitely want to keep things like on a more surface sort of level they just want to have a good time they just want to have a very light 
hearted mood and it just fits with all the the six of cups and the the young pages and then going the the, the two of pentacles which is also very young in the suit of pinnacle cards it's just very like we're just getting to know each other. Maybe you guys will go out for like drinks and stuff. I don't know about that, but I mean, I'm I'm just giving an example of something that's just keeping it like okay, we had some coffee. That's that's probably more likely with this with coffee. If it was like drinks, we'd have a different card. I mean, <laughs> 6 of uh cups is a little bit underage, so we're not going <laughs> to do that. But um yeah, you guys are just going to like, "Oh, sorry, take my camera." Want to just keep things light in general. Um but ironically, we do have the song Tennessee Whiskey. And this is by Chris Stapleton. Now, I don't think you can see the lyrics for this, and I don't feel like refocusing it, but basically it says the lyrics I picked from the song are, you're, sm you're smooth as Tennessee whiskey, you're as sweet as strawberry wine, you're, war you're as warm as a glass of brandy. So, like, um, the general mood, atmosphere for the days, like, you guys would definitely be feeling each other, and, um... And what I got from when I was reading the lyrics for the song is like this person is talking about how they used to, uh, you know, pour, sort of pour their problems and into whiskey and like drink their troubles away and stuff. And then they met someone who who kind of replaces that feeling of, of drinking and, and that high they get from it. So they're going to, you guys are going to feel like a certain sort of high and um, general excitement. Um, for each other so the the mood is like oh my god I've met someone who's who's better than this substance um, not saying they have a substance abuse problem just like they're saying you guys are kind of giving each other like this really warm um, feeling and it, it seems to be mutual is from what I'm getting um, from these cards um, they may be more a little bit focused on like the the practical aspects of the day like oh my god is this is this chair comfortable for the person did i did i think pick of the right restaurant and stuff and oh my god is the food good while you may be more focused on like them as a person but i mean both of you are really into each other is what i'm getting from this card reading wow that went on way longer than i expected it to go see how it happens if i disappear for a minute <laughs> I just can't stop running in my mouth. So anyway, if you feel, if you love this reading, like it, um, and subscribe, and feel free to um, email me about any sort of personal readings if you want to get them done. I think that's all I have to say for the moment, but uh, thank you, pal number one, and I hope that that date really does go wonderful. Pal number two, if you chose the Black Hearts necklace then let's see who you will go on a date with next and how this will go what you think of each other let's just get started with this all right so i chose the song here and i'm going to put that to the side i'm going to read that last um but yes this is who you'll go on a date with next wow we got the sun card okay very sweet and what you'll think of them we got the Two of Cups. Look at them embracing what they'll think of you. We got the Ten of Swords. And how the gate date will go in general, we got the Lovers. If you see me flipping something upside down, because I don't like reading reversals and such. Um, anyway, so who you're going to date with yet next is someone who really stands out in a crowd. This person can be like very, very popular. Um, someone who is very intelligent, talented, like they're just going to have some sort of quality about them that makes them very magnetic. And what I'm getting is they're probably very charismatic and it looks like playful as well because I mean we have two children playing with like this flag back and forth and giggling with each other. So this person is just just like this has this bright, sunny personality this is the very optimistic looking person they always look on the bright side in general and um, they they just they're coming to a place where they feel very successful I don't know why but like my brains like saying pick another card pick another card so I'm gonna have to pick another card for you guys I don't know what's going on uh, <laughs> okay yeah so what the sun here is saying, this is the four of pinnacles, by the way, it's saying that that success, that sort of brightness, that thing that attracts a lot of people to them is that they may have 
a good amount of money. Like the Four of Pentacles works hard for what they have in life and that's why they sort of kind of hoard onto it. They, they can be very kind of like, um, I'm not saying the person is like this stingy with money because I don't really get that vibe, but I'm saying is that they they care for their finances and they believe that it's important to have a good structure organized and have like a good budget for what they they um for i mean that's how they spend their money you just gotta have a good budget for that so this person is like very kind of like financially successful it seems and they really know how to handle their money so that's the kind of what the sun energy card is saying like they're really career for focus and oriented so they'll stand out and they in in that way so they may have more money than like the average um, medium income um, coming in or they may come from a family that is um, sort of wealthy wealthier than average I'm not saying they're filthy rich I'm just saying they may make more than the than usual you know what I mean like they could make like a hundred fifty thousand or something like that you know what I mean it's not like super rich but it's it's you're definitely making a good amount of money more than probably most people at least in this country America so what you'll think of them is you'll think they're kind of like the one, like you'll, you'll really be feeling them in a romantic sense. Like the, the, you'll just really feel like really connected to them. You'll feel like they understand you, like you two are uh, two peas in a pod. You two really fit together. Um, you go together like peanut butter and jelly. Like you'll think that they're very compatible to you. I mean, this is just a very straightforward card. Here, you guys are embracing. You you're feeling like very connected and thinking that they all feel the same. That they do feel the same for you, and that um, you two have a great deal in common. You may both like animals, pets. You may both own cats, just because we have a cat here, kind of rubbing against the female. So here on this card. So you just feel, I feel like you guys will have like a lot of similarities between you and you're going to see that as a very positive thing. Uh, you guys might like the same sort of music. You guys may feel like have the same sort of opinions on, on things. Um, you'll just feel very connected to them. Uh, and you feel like you just guys understand each other's point of view and you're going to feel very warm. Um, so then we have what they'll think of you, which is the Ten of Swords. Now, I wouldn't run away scared thinking that they're thinking you are a freaking nightmare, but they could think that you've been through a lot and that you're someone who's been going through a hard time or you've experienced a lot of hurt and betrayal in the past. Like, for some reason, the mind just came to me like you had friends who were like shady or like family members. Um, you've had people try to take advantage of you, um, <laughs> um, but the thing about the Ten of Swords is they, they may be looking at you a little bit like this person's exaggerating some, um, and it could be because they're kind of that sun card, they're, like, they're always looking on the bright side, so you may talk about things that have happened to you in your life, and, you, and they'll be thinking, well, uh, I mean, they'll be thinking, oh, okay, it's not as bad as they're making it out to seem. And it very well could be that bad. But this is just their thoughts on you, like what they're thinking. So in their head, they're like, okay, this person's telling me how, you know, they had a difficult time in high school or college. And, you know, it was just very tough for them. And in and, and their head, they're just like, uh, it, it doesn't sound that bad. Like, it, they came out of it, you know they're in a good place now like you know, like th to them it's because they see things on the positive side they kind of they they just always want to see that silver lining in things i don't think they're trying to belittle your experiences in any way but to them they're going to be like this person's a little little bit dramatic about stuff but um i don't think they're they're saying that you haven't been hurt they're just saying it's probably not as bad as you think it is that's that's their thought process okay all right that's just what they'll be thinking um <laughs> in terms of how you feel and they may think that you're you like to okay whenever i get the ten of swords please don't take offense um it's like someone who likes to complain a lot um uh, or like this is them perceiving you, right? So they're perceiving you as someone 
who you know kind of be like a negative Nancy in a way or you know going through a tough time just like in a negative headspace um, but the fact of the matter is it's a 10 so it's kind of like you're at the end of that so to them they're saying okay you just came out of this crazy um, reality this crazy situation you were in like maybe you came from like a, a terrible relationship and the only reason I say that is because we have the two book cups and the lovers and you're in between that so they're thinking oh you came out of like some sort of dramatic breakup or if not a breakup you have like this history of either crushes situation shits like your love life has been nuts like like that's the the energy the vibe that they're getting like i have a feeling you guys are going to be talking about each other's past on dates like your past sort of experiences maybe just a little maybe a little bit a little smidge you guys are going to be in some mentioning that and <laughs> you may say some things about you know people you've had like sort of romantic interactions with um that makes them think wow that's that's um that's a lot like <laughs> so that's the feeling I'm getting but overall it's not a bad thing because the date we have the lovers card for how it goes and that's a pretty smooth sailing card so it's they I have a I mean I have a feeling we got two cards embracing we got the two of cups the lovers they're definitely going to be feeling you they're gonna be interested in you um, they're gonna go, want to get to know you more so the date's going to go pretty smoothly, to be honest. Like, you guys are going to really connect with each other. Um, you guys are going to be sort of really wanting to get closer to each other. You're going to want to dive in deeper um, to that past hurt um, or experiences. Uh, you just, you're just both going to intrigue each other. Um, and want to get to know each other more. Like, that's just the whole vibe that I'm getting. You just want this fresh start. So the date's going to go very well. Um, there's going to be a lot of communication, a lot of talking. Um, just because we, the lovers is represented by the Gemini, and then we also have the Ten of Swords, and that's a lot of talking. So, I, <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot of talking. So there's just going to be a good amount of communication on the date um, from both of you just because the lovers is about balance the two of cups about balance so you're both going to be talking about um, things that that you enjoy things that interest you not just the the bad you know stuff that's happened um, but you're both going to try to you're both going to really understand each other that's the feeling that I get for this you're just going to connect um, on a uh, just some an emotional level there'd be some sort of understanding and so for the song we got for you was glamorous by Fergie oh my god that's crazy uh, I was just talking about how this person may be a little bit have a little bit more money than the average but the lyrics I wrote down is we fly in first class up in the sky popping champagne living the life like I mean you guys know the song good good glamorous flaw sif flaw says so like yeah you guys he's gonna be giving you or she's gonna be giving you the royal treatment or you guys are gonna go someplace really really nice and you're both gonna be like this is a really freaking nice place that we've chosen to go to um, or spend our time with it's just going to feel very classy uh, very upscale um, it might even be really expensive I don't know like it, who who's treating who or if you guys are splitting or going Dutch but the atmosphere the place that you've chosen um, people around you are gonna have money and it's gonna be like it's gonna be an expensive spot like you guys you guys aren't going to Red Lobster okay like that's not this date this is gonna be a very um, a very you know fancy bougie type of date um this for and i think i think this person's paying just to be honest um just because they I'm, i mean they're the one that has like the money that they're spending i mean they're a little bit <laughs> they may not want they may be like oh my god i'm spending a lot but they're gonna spend it either way so that is everything i'm getting for you pile number two i hope you have a lovely day sounds like you guys we're going to get the royal treatment that night. You're really going to find someone to connect with. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe. And 
feel free to email me for any sort of personal readings and thank you for watching so if you chose pile number three the charm heart bracelet let us get started on your reading boop, 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 boop. all right so da -da 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 -da. this oh forgot this this is a song i'll get to that at the end of the reading but anyway this is who you will go on a date with next we have the three of swords um this is what you'll think of them this is what they'll think of you remember i did not read reversal that's why i'm flipping the cards um and this is how the date will go wow that's the seven of swords okay so a little bit of a different vibe than the other two but that's all right excuse me <clears throat> like i said i'm coming back from being sick so there's still got a lot of um you know stuff going on with the body anyway <laughs> okay so who you'll go on the date with next is the three of swords and i have on the after tarot deck where the swords have sort of falling out of the heart and it's all bandaged up um and healing so you're going on a date with someone who probably just got out of a relationship and if that is not the case and they have not just gotten out of a relationship then they've just come out of a time a hard time it can you can get it because i mean the three of swords you know it usually represents a heartache though sometimes i have seen the three of swords in a reading where it's kind of like you'll like <clears throat> have a good time and you don't want it to end so um like that's another way to read it but i'm just throwing that out there if the, if if you relate to that but and and this person of uh i'm gonna read it the more traditional way which is this person is coming out of a period in their life which has been tough which has been very troubling and painful for them and i'm gonna pull a card um just to clarify what's this about okay the high priestess okay this may just be about them growing as a person because the high priestess represents your sort of intuition um sort of like the spiritual calling um sort of like this understanding higher understanding of self um so i have a feeling that it's less about something happening to them in the physical world like that could have triggered it but this is more like geez i'm sorry i think this thing just cut off but the the high um, as i was saying before um the high priestess is a card that is about withdrawing if that makes sense and with the three of swords here they can sort of feel alone that's the two things that these cards having having have in common is that isolation sort of thing that can happen those are two things that kind of related so this person could just have been very sad and felt unloved if that makes sense i don't know if it's if it's like i don't think it's somebody who did something to them i think it's the fact they probably couldn't find a connection with someone and then the fact that we have the seven swords later in this reading kind of comes up with the theme of sort of being alone and then we have the heartache so um two swords connecting like usually the reading connects that way so i think they just felt very alone and um are having issues connecting with someone or they've had issues in the past trying to find someone to love or to be loved by so what you'll think of them um for the page of wands uh either you're gonna think this person's very young or you're just going to find them to be immature and i'm getting a more immature vibe rather than they're just youthful though that can be the case but um to me it's like you're going to see them as someone who can make very brash and um uh, maybe not the smartest decisions like this person you're like 
uh, you're kind of wondering this, if this person is just a little bit too impulsive. But on the other hand, the thing about the Page of Wands is they can be so spontaneous and so playful. Like they may be walking by like someone, um, a, a bouncy house or something, and they'll be like, let's go in the bouncy house and let's just go. Like, and you're like, what? What do you mean? I haven't been in a bouncy house since I was seven. And They'll be like, well, who cares? Well, let's just do it. And I'm like, and they'll, you know, they they have that sort of childish animated feeling to them. Or like they're saying, oh my God, is that an ice cream truck? Let's go get some ice cream. And you're like, an ice cream truck? Oh my gosh. So they, they have like this, like, you're, like they have that youthful spirit about them where they just don't care what anyone thinks. They're like, I want to do this, so let's go do this. I, I want to go um, ice skating. Let's go ice skating. I want to, I don't know, jump on a jump hang upside down on a jungle gym i don't know what uh why would they would do that but they're like I'll, they're gonna be like let's go go-karting like just like fun stuff that typically as an adult you probably don't do that often um but they don't care they're just like they they're just very playful in that way um maybe if you're like a teenager doing this that's probably like the norm um to be sort of like impulsive and childish in that way like let's go laser tag and stuff um but that's if you're an adult that's like typical most people don't spend their uh weekends laser tagging though i'm sure there are some adults who do that but i'm just saying most people i've met usually don't um <clears throat> so this person is very energetic very playful um loves being active Okay, so a very active person. That's what you're going to think of them. Bouncing off the walls, generally, like, this is the kind of person, like, if you give them a cup of coffee, they're just, like, so animated, bouncing off the walls, jumping up and down, nonstop talking, like, nonstop moving, fidgety, like, that's the type of person they are. So you're going to see them as a person who is very lively. Like, this is not going to be a laid-back person person far from it so what they'll think of you is they'll think that you are very focused on I don't know if you're in school and the reason I say school is because the eight of pinnacles can be the card of internship and it can be the card of just being supported while you're learning a craft or perfecting a craft um, and if you're not then they think you're someone who's just basically focused on the future, the goals you want to accomplish. Like, if you're a student, maybe they're like, wow, this person's very studious. Um, this person studies hard. This person works hard. Like, th this person is very um, detailed. They're, they're going to notice that you notice little things about them. Like, so they're going to be like, like, maybe they pick up their fork in a way that's unusual and you may point it out to them just to be like oh that's interesting that you do that and so they're gonna be like wow this person just noticed like little details about anything like you'd be the type of person who if someone like had like a little dot stain or string on their hanging off their pants or something like that don't you know when the thread comes undone and your shirt's like got that string hanging off of it and you're gonna be the person who's like oh my uh, you, you, your sh your shirt has a a string undone and they're like oh right well like I didn't even notice that so which kind of makes sense with the page of wands energy the page of wands is such a wild energy like fire signs usually we aren't paint like I'm a fire sign in Aries myself so um, we usually don't pay attention to small things like that all the time I say never depending on what else you have in your chart but um, we're not gonna be as uh, a debt like we're not gonna notice that as much like the fine print the fine details of stuff like that like you know that that has a little stain right there there's a lint there's lint right there like I'm we're not gonna notice it that much because we're focusing on other stuff um, more things that are just like going to be um, more exciting than nitpicking sort of things so they're gonna be like wow this person really notices the the small things um, and they're also just going to think you're just very focused on whatever it is you're trying to accomplish. Like, they just really think that you're a very hardworking 
person that is their impression of you 100 percent this person you're like this person is just so focused on what they want to accomplish and what they want to get done um so to them you're gonna seem like a very mature person is what i'm getting they just think that you know what you want in life and you're going for it um and you're working to make a difference. I just want to pull one more card for you guys. Hope you don't mind. I'm just so curious about where their thought process is going. Yeah, they just kind of see you moving forward. Um, you actually know how some people where, like, maybe they live in, like, their mom's, like, they're, they're, like, 40, they live in their mom's basement, and... I mean, this may be horrible. I mean, it sounds judgmental to say, because, like, you don't know people's place, but, like, um, situations. But, um, sometimes when you see people like that, a lot of people can get judgmental and think, oh, this person's just, like, not going anywhere in life. Um, they're going to see you as the opposite of that. Because with the Knight of Swords here, Knights always sort of move forward. Um, so they see you as someone who is doing everything possible to accomplish what you want to accomplish, whether that's like, oh, well, I'm in high school and I want to apply to different colleges, or I'm in college and I want to get an internship and then I want to get a good job, or I have a job and I want to push my career to the next level. It's just like you're trying and you're willing to put in that effort um, to do that and you may be talking about your goals a lot just because we have um the knight of swords clarifying the this sort of eight of pentacles energy so i feel like on the date you're going to be talking about things that you sort of want to accomplish and you want to get done um in your life and i don't know if they're going to be on the same level of you because it seems like to me you're kind of one step above them because we, I mean we have the page of wands and then we have the knight of swords so the thing about knights and pages is knights tend to um, in some cases train pages like pages would be like in train to become knights so um, it could be sort of like um, maybe they have a high school education you have a college education or maybe they um, work part-time at um, I don't know, uh, some sort of customer service job. And let's say you work 40, like 30 hours a week at um, a job that is going in a direction that that you can grow in, is what I want to say. Like, they're, 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 like their position may be like, they're just starting out trying to get to... Um, I don't even know how to explain it. You know, they're just they're just starting out, um, trying to figure out what they want and what they want to do. While you have some sort of idea about what you want to do want, and you want to do, and you're working towards it, but they're still in that sort of beginning stage of that. Okay, does that make sense? I hope I'm, I hope I'm explaining that. It's kind of like the difference between like having your first job versus like having I don't know your your third job and this time you have more experience and you're like I want this I'm gonna get this done and I, I already I, I just I just know like I've already experienced you know going through customer service I've worked at a, like a, a restaurant I've worked at like a, um, I don't know a, a laundromat I've done this I've done that like I, I I've been through it and I know which what I know none of those things work for me so now I'm gonna focus on this versus them they're still going through that well maybe I'll like working here maybe I like working there and maybe I like working this um, <laughs> um, anyway, that's what I got. Maybe I talked a little bit too much about that. But anyway, how will the date go? Well, we have the Seven of Swords. So, Seven of Swords can be a card of deception. So, I have a feeling that they're going to be holding back. You may be holding back a little bit as well with fully expressing yourself. And the Seven of Swords can also be about running away 
and I'm um, kind of sneaking off so I don't know if this date is going to end as well I have a feeling you may kind of find a way out of it I don't know if you guys are going to be totally compatible in this sense it doesn't seem like it's horrific it doesn't look like you guys are going to get into some major fight um, but I think you both are going to sort of realize that you two may not be a match for one another um, at least not at the moment because um, from their perspective, we got this them represented, um, well, I mean, they're represented by two cards, obviously, but, like, from their perspective, they're, they're, they're the, they're the heart of swords, like, this is the three of swords, heart, whatever, and they, um, they kind of want to, they kind of want to, pull away from you and then you're also like the the knight of swords so you're going to kind of want to pull away from them as well i think you're both going to realize that you two may not be the right ones for each other is what i'm getting i mean the 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 seven of swords is really about you know two people connecting i mean it's one of those stars that represents like that lone wolf that lone path that going your own way being by yourself doing your own thing so you two are going to kind of be like mm, i don't think we're the right ones for each other i think we're gonna you know Keep it moving. We're going to keep going on. And um, the song I pulled for you is It Feels Like Summer and by Childish Gambino. And the thing about this card, it not card, the song, it's like it feels like summer. Um, I feel like summer. And I'm not going to write all the lyrics down, but <laughs> the chorus itself sounds very lovely and sweet. But when you get into the verses, it talks about all the, the sort of problems going on in the world while you know summer is this warm lovely season um there's a lot of issues you know growing with the growing population and um you know global warming natural disasters etc i don't know if the song specifically talked about uh, natural disasters and stuff but it, it it does reach on the the social political economic issues of the world so um you guys may have gone on a date expecting something kind of sweet and light and everything, but have a feeling that things, you're going to start to realize that things are not what they seem, you know? I think you guys may even talk start talking about some social issues, and I think you may not completely agree with one another, or you have different perspectives or such. Um, about that just given the, the song itself um, so you're gonna go on a day expecting one thing and then it's gonna be like okay this turned into a, a really sort of serious sort of thing <laughs> so that's uh, that's the feeling it's it's not really like a romantic sort of date card it's like okay well I came here to have fun and um, you know potentially meet someone and then now we ended up discussing our, our views on um, you know, pro-life versus pro-choice, pro you know what I mean? So, it's going to be something like that. Something where your viewpoints won't fit each other. But yeah, that's all I have for you, pal number three. Um, if you like the reading, feel free to subscribe. And um, do also do private readings. Um, Information is in the description box below. And uh, did I say don't forget to like and subscribe? Oh yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. A so we're on to pile number four. If you chose the rose earring, then let us get started with your reading. All right. Oh, the, we do have the nine of wands here, but I got to do this in the right order that I pulled them and asked the question. And here is your song, which I will get to towards the end of the reading. Okay, so right that way we have who you will go on the date with next. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. So you're going on a date with someone who is going through a major change in their life. Um, the fact that, wow, we have the Wheel of Fortune twice. I just noticed that. Weird. Okay. <laughs> and then we have death. Uh, so, wow. Okay. Uh, it's about transformations. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so someone's going through it. Uh, this is crazy. Oh, my God. Um, pile number four. So, this is um, kind of very clear. This is, uh, <laughs> I don't think I need to take too long with this reading. But you're going um, 
on a date with someone who's going through a major change in their life and change can be hard and what I'm getting from the fact that we got three major arcana, arcana two of them are the same card um, that I don't know man this date seems fated to happen like this is like something you cannot avoid but whoever you're going on a date with is like going to be like someone you've never been on a date with before it is not going to be your usual day just because we have you know will of fortune death will of fortune again it's a totally different change of pace and it's funny how who you're going to date with um this is like who you're going to date with what you'll think of them and what they'll think of you so you're both going through something in your life um, and you'll recognize that they're going through a change. You'll recognize that they're going through a period of their life where they're leaving all the shit behind that is unnecessary for them. Death is definitely 100% a total change. And mainly when I get it, it's like a change of habits. Um, but it can be like, um, a change in situations. Um, just because it's the Wheel of Fortune, so it can be like a reverse of fortune. Maybe they're on a come up, and I'm thinking it's it's a positive change in their life. I don't think they're like, you know what, I'm going through such a hard time. Let me go on a date. No. It looks like they're like, okay, I got promoted at work. Let me go on a date. Or, okay, so I've moved to a new city. Let me go on a date. Let me meet people. Um, and the fact that we have the Nine of Wands here... Where with like how the date will go, you both may have your guard up a little bit. I'm trying to figure out, maybe you'll both feel vulnerable because sometimes when you're going through a different change in your life because you're both doing that um, or you will be doing that at the time you can kind of be suspicious of other people around you like let's say it's something very positive all of a sudden you win the lottery or something this is just a crazy example and now you this that's that would be a huge change okay and it would definitely be a change of fortune so now you have people approaching you talking to you trying to get to know you and you're on the defense. You're like, okay, what's the reason this person really wants to speak to me? Well, why is this person really trying to talk to me? Why are they really trying to get to know me? What do they want from me? So that's why I'm a feeling it's it's um, probably a little bit more positive than negative. Or let's say all of a sudden you lost a ton of weight or something. And now you're you're meeting new people. You're going out. You're starting to date again. Maybe you both change something about your appearance or something and now you're like okay so does this person like me for how my appearance is um, do they want me for my money do they want me for this my connections or etc this and that like so you're both because I think I, I think you both are going through like a positive you'll be at the time be going through like such a positive change in your life you're gonna start to wonder um, if the people around you or the people you meet are only here for that specific change if they rather if they really want to get to know you or they don't but um it's so cute that you guys feel the same way <laughs> view each other in like a similar way but um you may think i think because you're both your timing is so a little bit you're like, whoa, like, so they're going through this too? Like, uh, they, they, uh, recently got a nose job too? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying stuff, but like, they, it's because they're going through such a similar, like, transformation in their life, um, at the same time as you, you may be like, oh, are they, are they just saying that? Um, because I said that, or they may be thinking the same thing. Is this person serious? Are they, like, just kind of mimic what I'm saying? Um, but it, it just happened that way. It just happens to be that you guys are just going through that similar change in your life. Maybe you're giving, you're starting a, um, eating healthy. You're starting to meditate more and try yoga or travel. Um, though I don't think it's travel, but, um, <laughs> but because like your timing, both of your timing is correct. And, um, and it's happening for both of you at the same time. Like you both got promoted. You both 
met new friends, you both moved to a new city, you guys are going to be a little bit suspicious and like, well, hold on, wait a minute. It's going to feel like the, um, the parent trap here where you're by looking at each other and you're sort of mirroring each other. It's, it's weird. Like you're feeling like you're both, you're in this together and you're like, how, how is this even possible? <laughs> like both of your minds are just going to be like totally blown away. Um, that's the feeling that I'm getting. So yeah, I didn't even read this, like the, the, the rest of the cards that I'm getting that I got before. Cause I didn't need to, cause I'm just like, you, you guys are both going to be like, whoa. <laughs> So yeah, they're, they're going to think that you're just like them, that you're you're going through this. Um, I just want to know what's happening. I got it because I'm just being vague right now. <laughs> uh, we got the Ace of Pentacles. That's the change. I asked what you both will have in common. So it's going to be like some um, change in fortune where you're both getting some new, um, if not financial opportunity, um, then it can be um, some sort of physical change to something like I just moved I just um, dyed my hair I just um, it has to be like something physical happening in the material world um, but because it's the wheel of fortune and then we get the ace of Pentacles I have a feeling it's more financial or you know something that you can uh, use or maybe you guys both just got um, a loan granted or you both cleared off your your student loan debt or something and you have a fresh new start now but um, oh I keep kicking this camera sorry guys but yeah it's just you're both gonna be going through a time period where it's financially beneficial for both of you and you're gonna be kinda thrown off a little bit and um, a little guarded about this and that but <sighs> Um, you guys gotta let your guard down. You really do. Um, <laughs> you really, really do. <laughs> because it's, it's true. It's whatever, like, they, they, look, we got the Queen of Cups here. There is no malicious intention for either one of you. Um, so just don't, I mean, when you go on this date, like, I mean, accept the fact that you both are just going through a positive change, um, from a material perspective, like, I, I don't want to always say that it's just like money or something, but it, it is a pinnacle, so it has to be something, you know, you can physically touch, okay, so, um, I don't know if you got like an inheritance, or I don't know, maybe you did, maybe both your grandparents died at the same time, and then you both inherited something. But um, it's it's really just that vibe that um, I think you both want to open up because we have the Queen of Cups here, but you're you're just nervous about it, and you feel like like the date will feel like um, this person is a little bit on the too good to be true side. Is what I'm getting because you're just gonna both be in like the uh, the emotionally the same sort of place and also it could also be on the flip side where you're you see each other and the date you're just like well I can't let this person go it could also be that way um it can it may not just be it may not be your guard up you may just be like I'm not letting anybody get this person I like this person this person's staying with me and so the date's kind of like you two sort of sorry my camera cut off camera's really annoying. It only films like 30 minutes or some, something like, something weird. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like you two saying, you know what, you know, get up, don't mess with, don't you know that, have you heard that song? It's such an old song now, but it's like, don't mess with my man. I'm gonna be the one to break it to you. Like, it's just like someone who's like, hey, don't mess with the person I'm with. Like, don't, don't step to him. Don't look at him. Like, this is my man. This is my girl. Okay, so you both could be feeling like that as well. And that could be the flip side of this um, <laughs> reading. But the song you got, oh my god, 
Oh my god. So when I pulled this song, I was like, this is such a sweet song. But the song is called Together. Isn't that so cute? Because I'm like, I was just talking about how you guys would have so much in common. This is freaking me out, guys. Okay. Um, uh, <laughs> but the song is called Together. And it's a duet by like Brandon and Leah. And that's so crazy. It's so crazy. Um, like that it would just pair up with this reading, which you guys, oh my god, it's going through a similar thing. But it's like, every time you fall, I fall. Every time you cry, I cry. Every time you smile, I smile with you. And then look what I wrote here. Oh my God. Oh my God. I wrote really connected. Oh my, hold on. Let's, fuck. I, I spelled connected wrong too, but <laughs> I probably spelled it weird. Um, but I was in a rush. So, but that's supposed to be connected. <laughs> I don't know why I spelled it that way. I'm so sorry. Don't, I'm dyslexic. Leave me alone. <laughs> but um, I, that's crazy that I just wrote a little note there. Because sometimes I'm just like, okay, what could this song mean? And so I, I wrote um, Really Connected for you guys. So you're just guys, you guys are just going to feel really, really connected to one another. I, I don't know what it is, what rhyme or reason or, or who is going on, but you guys are just going to feel like you match. You're like, this is it. This is great. Love this date. Same vibe, same level, going through the similar stuff. And you're going to feel connected. Um... So that is what I got for you, pile number four. Um, it's crazy. Oh my god. The universe is so weird. It's so freaky. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, so if you chose the silver um, heart earring, let me get some news to you about who you're going to date with next. Um, my battery's low, but luckily we're closer to the end. Uh, hopefully I can stop running my mouth. Anyway, so this is who you're going to date with next. Sorry, I forgot to remove this. This is what you'll think of them. This is what um, they'll think of you. And this is how the date will go. So we have the Six of Coins, the Seven of Wands. We have the <laughs> Seven of Cups. And we have the Knight of Wands. That's interesting. We have like no major arcana. Um, but, alright, fine. So, um, who you're going to date with next is someone very giving, someone very charitable, um, someone who looks after others, um, someone willing to give their, their, their time and their effort to other people. This is a giver for sure. Um, this person um, thinks they're, they're very conscious of other people and they think about um, how they can help others. Oh my god. Yeah, we got the Empress. I had to pull another card. So yeah, this person is just very nurturing. You're going to go out with someone who who puts, who doesn't mind putting other people first and also has a balance and wants to take care of themselves because I don't know if you see this about the six eh, of pentacles here. I'm not even looking at, I'm like holding it up to me, not the camera girl, but we have the balance scales. So this person themselves, they're just a balanced person. They like to take care of themselves. They like to take care of others. Don't you know some people, they, they maybe they're a little bit too selfish and they only focus on themselves. And you have other people who um, always want to take care of other people, but they neglect and take care of themselves and don't, don't take care of themselves. Um, not this person. This person's very like, hey, I got to get, I got to, you know, I love helping other people, but I got to help myself out sometimes too. So... <laughs> <laughs> they have no issue with that whatsoever. Um, but they're just a very thoughtful person is what I'm getting. Um, and very socially conscious. Someone who understands there are people out there who need help. And they want to be one of those people who helps them. So what you'll sort of think of them. I mean, yeah, that's what I, Sorry, uh, allergies, guys. What you'll think of them is you're going to find them to be very assertive, very sort of, I don't even know how to say it. They're just, 
they're the type of person who will speak their mind, who will take charge, take the lead. Um, this is not a wallflower. This is not a person who's shy. This is not a person who's going to, um, you know, teeter-tot, like, what is around, like, kind of go around your feelings in a way. Um, like, they're not walking on eggshells with you. They're coming through, and they're going to say what they have to say. They're going to do what they have to do. Um, I mean, they're not a jerk or anything. They're just, they're just a very straightforward and direct person. And they're going to be very, very opinionated. Because the six of, of, the seven of swords here can be very, not seven of swords, seven of wands here can be very hard-headed. Um, and very, um, it's hard to change someone's mind like that. So, that's just the kind of person that you're going to see them as. They're, they're, they're not as open to, um, or I should say, not as receptive to uh, other people's ideas. This is a person who kind of knows what they believe, and they'll defend it. So, if let's say, like, you're like, um... I don't know, what's an opinion on something? Uh, you think that, I'm trying to, I'm struggling, like I'm blanking right now. Um, you think there's nothing wrong with the, the, the criminal justice system. And they're like, what? No, something's definitely wrong with the criminal justice system. It's not there, it has a bias towards minorities or something like that. And then they're gonna defend that uh, to death, you're not going to change their mind, you're not going to get them to agree that, you know, somewhat, that the people who are in jail deserve it, that everybody in jail deserves it, they're going to be like, no, not everyone in jail deserves it, like, they're just, they're just going to stick to, um, their point of view in terms of that, which, I mean, that could be good, that could be bad, it's, it's not, um, depends on how you look at it, it's, it's, it's good, um, to know your own mind, to know your own self, but sometimes it can also be bad to be so stubborn because it can be hard to um, sort of see things from different points of view. Uh, you know what I mean? Like you have all these people, like look at this. Think of this as like different points of view and then this person with their point of view. You know what I mean? They're just here with their stick saying, nope, goodbye. I don't want that. Don't want to listen to that. Um, I'm right. And they very well could be right. I'm just saying, you know, it... It can be it can be good and bad. Like it depends on how you want to look at it. It's, it's good to not just have a yes person, but on the flip side, it can be uh, it could be a little bit frustrating to be around someone who who won't uh, want who won't let's change their point of view um, entirely. And I'm not saying they they won't be willing to. I'm just saying it might be tough. Um, but. Like I said, it's 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 good that they they do form their own thoughts and they do have, um, they're they're intelligent in in that manner. Okay, that they they want to, that they they have a strong sort of backbone. Okay, they're gonna stand up for themselves. The type to stand up for themselves if something is wrong. So, what they'll think of you? Um, you got the seven of cups. So. I'm going to pull one more card for this just because we got two sevens in a row. Okay. So we have the five of pentacles. That's interesting. Okay. So what I'm getting is they may think you, what's the nicest way to put it? They may think you're a little bit more of a day daydreamer. And that you're a little bit out of touch with reality. Um, is that a mean way to put things? I don't know. Gosh. I don't, I, but I just, that's what I think about them. Because they're so caught up in the practical day-to-day -day, um, sort of issues of the world. And you may be more of a spiritual person. So to them, you kind of look like, they're like, what do you... What do you mean that you you're just going with the flow? What do you what do you mean that um you're uh you don't have a five year plan or something like this is the type of person who just like wants to organize, plan things. Like I said, there's that balance scale there. They they just got to have something, some sort of concrete um steps they're gonna take. 
And you may not be that way all the time. You may be like, well, I mean, I could end up living in China. I could become a teacher. I could be a doctor. Like, I could switch to being a lawyer if I want. Like, maybe I want kids now. Maybe I want kids in the future. Like, like you're just a person who doesn't feel the need to plan every little thing. At least that's how they're going to see you. And so they're going to see you as someone who, who could potentially end up in a financially, uh, what's the word, financially unstable situation just because they feel like, oh my God, this person just has their, their head in the clouds. That's what, that's how they're seeing it. But I don't think they necessarily like dislike you or anything they just kind of feel like their way of doing things is the right way of doing things and the way that you're approaching life and in, in a sort of um you know take it as it comes one day at a time or like uh looking at all the possibilities that there could be in the world you're like well maybe i could be a movie star or maybe i could be a famous singer they're kind of like what is this person going on about like this person's like in a fantasy world right now <laughs> they're like this is like or oh my god you could be artistic um or you could be interested in a field that is very creative okay like you could do something which is very difficult to break into like if you're an actor you're a singer you're a sculptor you're a painter you're a digital artist you could be um into sort of things like that and so they're looking at you like okay starving artist you know what i mean like they don't they're like the odds of you actually finding a lot of success in this is slim to none they, they they're just too much of a realist okay and you're they're gonna see you as someone who's more of a dreamer i'm not saying you actually are that way but um that's how they're gonna see you they're going to see you as someone who just doesn't, who, who's in their own world. It's kind of like that Pisces Virgo um, access. Like if you know Pisces are very imaginative, they're very, um, they can be very spiritual. They could be, um, every person with a Venus in Pisces I know, they sort of, when they date you, they sort of put you on like, if they really like you, they kind of put you on like a pedestal in a way and they see all like all this potential. One day we'll get married and one day we'll do this. And, and they, they may not tell you all of this and they're, they're just in their head. They think you just, they, if they like you, they'll think you're such a, like a magical sort of being like, they're like, I've never met anyone like you. Like you you get me on a deeper level. But um, that Virgo energy is like, okay, that's nice, but what's your job like what do you do for a living um how uh, what's your 10 year goal in mind like um <laughs> um are you able to have kids what's your family like what are your friends like will we get along like they're, they're, they're thinking on that practical level and they'll see you so they'll be on that virgo sort of energy while they'll be seeing you sort of like in a you'll be they'll see you in like a, a pisces sort of natured person if that makes sense. I hope you're understanding what I'm saying. Um, okay, so the date will actually pretty go pretty well. It'll be pretty fun. I think you'll both sort of like that, um, that combative sort of energy. Um, I've definitely had friends who've gone on dates with people they completely disagree with and they just kind of like argued the whole time and they thought it was just fun. They just thought like it was cool to interact with someone who shared different opinions than them who they who um, stood up for themselves, who thought for themselves, had their own ideas on how they wanted things to work. And you're not gonna back down at all with that. You're gonna you're gonna take that as a challenge. You're gonna say, wow, this was um this was interesting. Like, okay, we bickered, we laughed, we joked, like like it's like when you it's like that sort of sibling energy in a way. Um I, I don't even know if I want to say, like, if if you guys aren't into astrology, it won't make any sense. So I'll just say it's that sort of, like, uh, Gemini, if, um, very, like, going back and forth with bantering, kind of teasing each other, like, making, you know, like, making fun of each, fun of each other in, like, a good way, like, a playful way. So that's what I'm getting for you two in terms of, like, how the date will go. Like, it's just, like... A very um, 
playful energy. It's just a playful energy is what I'm getting. Okay? Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, and then what I got from you guys was um, I pulled one more card for like the the date, which was the Six of Swords. Um, so, it's interesting. I don't know if you guys are going to travel or, or meet, like to meet each other, like a little bit of a distance. Because like what I'm getting is like I don't get like really negative, mean, spirited anything from you guys. Like I just, I don't get that. So I'm going to read this as a travel sort of card. So it looks like you might travel uh, a little bit longer than you normally would to meet someone um, for this particular date. But um, I think you both have a feeling that you may not be each other's like soulmates. But, you also won't mind each other's company. If that, make, if that makes total sense to you, um, you may be like, this is cool for now. Like, I know I've definitely met a lot of people who will, who will date someone that they think is just okay for now. Like, they're the best that they could find. So they're like, let's date them. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong or, you know, whatever with that. But, I mean, it's your life. Do what you want to do. But it's just like, I mean, the fact that we only have the major arcana and it has to do with their personality. It doesn't have to do with any particularly between like meeting between you two. Um, it's just like this is for fun. Like this is what I'm getting from that. You're just like meant to just kind of hang out for a little bit. Um, I think you kind of both feel like this is not here to last, but... You're like, well, this is still pretty cool. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you think this, you're like, this This person is, um, they'll see you as like, this person is very imaginative. Um, I think they're going to think you're really good looking as well. And you're, th you're going to think um, this person really cares about what they look like. They care about um, other people. So you'll see each other as sort of like good people. But you also see each other as like, you know, we're not each other's soulmates. And we know this isn't meant to last. Um, but I just want to pull one more card. Yeah, judgment. So, you guys know that it's not meant to last, okay? But the general mood for the day is I Choose You by Ryan Darling, which is like, it's weird because it's such a romantic song where it's like, you're my sunshine, um, you're my best of times, you're my... Anomaly, promise you, I'm all in, no turning back. So, the mood for the date, because that's what this song represents, is the mood is pretty good. Like, you guys are choosing to be with each other for now, and I think you're going to date for some period of time. And it's weird that you're like, it's all in, no turning back, but like, um... You've just kind of just chosen to stay with each other for the time being. I mean, I like to combine like the song with the reading, not read them separately because otherwise it's just like too weird and confusing. But um, you're definitely choosing to be with each other for the time being. I don't see any infidelity. I definitely think that this is at least going to be a relationship that lasts a couple of months at the very least, um, possibly even longer. But I know that this person that you're going to be on a date with. Um, whether it's like, you guys are willing to move forward. I think this is the only part I'm getting, like, that I know for sure that you guys are trying, going to want to move forward to a relationship stage and be with each other, but you guys aren't each other's the one. I don't know if I believe in the one, but like, uh, or soulmates and stuff like that, but I know that you guys aren't trying to, like, you don't feel a powerful enough connection that you guys would want to, um, say, this is my soulmate. But I definitely think that there's just, like, this uh, respect that you have for each other, and you understand each other are, are good people, and wanting to, and you have enough in common that you're like, well, we can sustain something. Um, that's what I'm getting. 
All right, tell me if that resonates, pal number five. I got to move on. I've been talking too much. Uh, I got to do this last sort of reading. Pal number six, the black ring heart. Let's get to it. All right, so song reading will go last. I'll read you last. And this is who you'll go on the date with next. I don't know if you guys are in a relationship because we got the four of wands here. So that's usually about like getting married, fun, celebrating, somebody you kind of already know. I mean, like, who goes and celebrates with strangers? Like, I mean, you at least, like, if you get invited to a party, you, you, you at least know one person at the party. You know what I mean? You don't, you don't usually, most people don't usually crash weddings or crash parties like that. Um, though you could, you could, you very well could. Could be that type of person. Um, <laughs> but um, I have a feeling it may be someone you already kind of know. So that's who you'll go on a date with next. This is what you'll think of them. And you'll think of them as the Ten of Pentacles. Um, what they'll think of you is the Nine of Swords. And how the date will go will be the Ace of Swords. Okay, so right away, like I said before, I have a feeling that this may be someone you know, and I have on the After the Tarot deck. Let me actually clear this for you. Hold on. We have, you know, you see the people getting married, and then they're riding off away on the horse. Here's the castle, and they're like, we just got married, woo -hoo! And their friends are saying goodbye, oh my god, bye. <laughs> I don't know what I'm. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm like acting some kind of story out. But um, yeah. So <laughs> um, I have a feeling it's someone you you know, and they're someone who wants a commitment. They're someone, or if they're if it's not someone you know, there's someone who wants commitment. There's someone who wants marriage. There's someone who wants the white picket fence, the the children, um, the kids. They want everything. They they. This is someone who's very serious and knows what they want out of life and they are striving towards that and the fact that we have it followed by the ten of pinnacles as what you'll think of them you'll see you'll be able to see that you'll be able to see that they want a home that they want children that they want a nice apartment house something that they own something that they can leave behind to um whoever they want to leave things behind to you'll know that this per that is what this person is looking for. This is not um, some sort of F boy, F girl. Um, they don't want anything casual. This is not a casual person. And you'll know that and you'll see that. You'll see that this person is serious about having a future. You'll see that this person is in control of their finances. They're spontaneous. They're thinking about the future and settling down. Like, this is the Four of Wands. So we've already had the, the Three of Wands comes, comes before the Four of Wands. Three of Wands is about, like, you put your, 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 um, your effort out and you're kind of waiting for it to pay off. And then the Four of Wands is the payoff. So they're in a place in their life where they're pretty much doing good. Like, they're like, okay... I got um, a nice job, like I got a nice car, or if, if it's not that, they're like, I'm in a place in my life, they're like, okay, well, I'm in, I don't know, I'm in school, and I have a, a good apartment, like, I'm doing well in my classes, if they're not in school, they're like, well, um, I don't know, I mean, if you're not in school, you don't have a job, I mean, maybe they just feel like they're good, or they're, they've got enough money saved up, I've definitely met people who've worked hard, they got money saved up, they don't got a job, but they got tons of money. <laughs> Um, and they're like, well, I want something, I want something now. I want something to hold on to. I want a foundation. I want someone to share my life with. And that's their perspective on things. Right now, they're in a place where they want to share their life with, and you can see that. For you, they're going to see you as someone, someone who's a little bit of a worry wart. Like, they may think that you yourself are, um, having some issues with anxiety, um, may not be able to stress out while they're like sort of like this happy-go-lucky person because they're they're always cracking jokes they're always smiling they're always you know talking to friends socializing and they may see you as someone who have 
you have a lot of trouble just relaxing and letting go. Um, so, like, let's say they crack a joke and then you don't smile and you kind of just, like, say, well, actually, blah, 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 and spew off Fauci. I mean, we've all met people like that where, you know, sometimes jokes go over their head. So they're, they may see you as that. They may be like, okay, this person just is not um, understanding that what I'm saying or maybe they don't think it's funny or maybe they're just, like, they've got, they're going through, they have a lot going on in their head that they're distracted. And so... Then we have, yeah, I wanted to clarify that for you. So they'll think that you <laughs> are going through some sort of transition period in your life where you're leaving a few things behind. I don't know if you've moved. I don't know if you've got out of a relationship. I don't know if you quit your job um, or if you you dropped a whole bunch of classes or if you are like, I want to get away from my family or to spend some more time alone or people are stressing me out but whatever it is they see and they recognize that you are trying to move away from all those anxieties they and and you're looking for a solution and I feel like they may think that you are dating to sort of pull yourself out of that to to be with someone who can sorry my camera cut off that you want to feel just relief. They, they see you as someone who's just looking for some sort of relief. Now, the date for you is going to be um, very communicated. Like, you guys are both going to be um, I don't, I'm not saying that you, your communication is going to be exactly clear. What I'm saying is you're both going to be trying to reach out and understand each other like it's not like someone's going to be quiet or uh, someone's going to do more of the talking or etc da 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 you're both trying to figure out you know how to communicate with each other and I say try to figuring out because we have the nine of swords here and sometimes with the nine of swords you can sort of overanalyze every little thing and things can become convoluted a little bit so that's why I say like there's going to be a great deal of conversations happening and clarification needing to be done on what you know one person is trying to say and what they're thinking and so this date is just going to be like that in a way and I don't get the feeling that you're going to be moving around a lot. Because sometimes when people go on dates, they're like, okay, let's go get ice cream. Let's go get dinner. Let's go ice skating. And then they, they, they do like three or four things on a date. Not you guys. You guys are going to be like sitting and talking for the most part. <coughs> and I just want to pull one more card for uh, you guys just because I'm so lost. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Crazy. Um, like I said, it, we got the seven of wands here. So you guys are kind of, um, it's really about struggling to communicate. Like I said, I think you're going to be over analyzing things a little bit too much. Um, and you're going to, you might kind of frustrate them a little bit. <laughs> and, um, um, I don't think it's, it's going to be completely clear. Like this person, they're going to be trying to be very direct with you. Um, and trying to make things as clear as possible about what they want, um, what they're looking for, and and they're trying to come to grips and try to understand you. And you're going to have to be, you may be taking things the wrong way, at least from their perspective, because this is what they think of you. They may see you as not understanding what they're saying, is what I'm getting. So it's not like the date's bad. It's not like you guys aren't feeling each other. It's just like you guys are you guys are struggling to understand each other. You're struggling trying to like move past it and work on communication throughout the date. Um, but I don't get like negative intentions from either one of you. Like it's just sometimes people just communicate differently. All right. And so the song I got for you is RPG. Oh my God, by Kalani. It's funny. Okay. Oh my god. So the lyrics is like, show me love, show me your love. Don't think that we're too, don't you think that we're too old to play this game? Um, and what I wrote here is I wrote, okay, I don't think you guys can even see that. I wrote playing games and I wrote communication issues. 
Isn't that crazy, guys? Like, damn, I'm on point. Anyway, so you guys are going to have some communication issues. Um, you or one of you two are going to see, think the other person is playing games with the other person. But really, you guys just, are just not understanding each other. So the date... Um, you may feel a little bit defensive. You may you may feel like this person just not getting you, and they they very well could not be, and you may not be getting them and what they're trying to say. But we got the Knight of Pentacles, so you guys are both like willing to work on it. That overall, it's like you both are very interested in each other, and so you're like, okay, we've got to figure out a way that we can communicate um, better. This is why I'm thinking it might be someone you know because I mean most people won't even bother to make that effort to someone new in their lives but um but if it's somebody you know and sort of already have a care about and understanding of or or at least acquaintance level you may put in that effort to do that um it might be somebody your friends set you up with too as well or someone you may have friends in common is what I'm getting but yeah you guys are just I don't know if you're in your, like your mid 20s or something like that or early 20s I say early 20s and not like uh, super mid maybe mid 20s I only reason I'm saying that is because it's like kind of young but like not super super young like teenage which I don't really get for this vibe at all just because we have too many cards about settling down but it's just you guys want you want something solid you want relief they want something solid and a future all right I'm sorry number um six that my camera keeps cutting off so I think I'm gonna have to end this reading because I think I'm out of battery life but for the most part, the next date you're going to go on, it's going to be a little bit frustrating. It's not going to be super romantic. It's just you guys are going to struggle with communication issues. But it's not like you guys don't like each other because I have a strong feeling that they're, you both are mutually interested in each other. You see aspects of each other's personalities that you really enjoy. They're going to see you as a very um, intelligent person. And you're going to sort of um, see them as someone who you could potentially settle down with. Like they have those qualities about them that would make them a good provider. Uh, and you feel like sort of, I don't know, safe around them. Cause you know, you know they're the type that will fight for you or something like that. Um, or if, whether you're a guy or a girl, like the person, you're just gonna see them as someone who's not gonna back down, who's not gonna give up easily. Okay, so. It may be a little rough start, but it doesn't mean things won't work out for you. So, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Feel free to like and subscribe. And come back for that next reading. And, you guys, I'm really sorry that this cut out. Um, and my camera's dying. I, oh, I really gotta go.